What if you could change your life in just one week? Sounds too good to be true, right? But what if I told you that the power to transform your life lies within your own mind? This video will show you how to tap into that power and see amazing results in just seven days. Our minds are incredibly powerful tools, capable of shaping our reality in ways we often don't realize. Every thought we have, every belief we hold, influences our actions and the outcomes we experience. But many of us don't know how to harness this power effectively. We let negative thoughts hold us back, limit our potential, and keep us from achieving our dreams. But it doesn't have to be this way. With the right techniques and a bit of practice, you can learn to use your mind to create positive changes in your life. And the best part, you can start seeing results in as little as a week. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to outline a seven-day challenge that will help you unlock the power of your mind. Each day, we'll focus on a different aspect of mental training, building your skills step by step. By the end of the week, you'll have a toolkit of powerful techniques to help you create the life you want. Before we dive into the daily practices, let's talk a bit about the mind-body connection. This concept is crucial to understanding why these techniques work. Our minds and bodies are not separate entities, but deeply interconnected systems that constantly influence each other. When we think it triggers a cascade of biochemical reactions in our bodies, positive thoughts can boost our immune system, reduce stress, and even help us heal faster. On the flip side, negative thoughts can increase stress hormones, weaken our immune system, and make us more susceptible to illness. This isn't just New Age philosophy, it's backed by science. Numerous studies have shown the powerful effects our thoughts can have on our physical health. For example, research has found that people who practice positive thinking and visualization techniques recover faster from surgery and experience less pain during recovery. Understanding this connection is the first step in harnessing the power of your mind. Once you realize how much influence your thoughts have over your physical reality, you can start to use that influence intentionally to create positive changes in your life. Now let's get into the seven day challenge. Remember, consistency is key here. Try to practice these techniques every day for the full week to see the best results. On day one, we're going to focus on positive self-talk. This is the internal dialogue that runs through your mind all day long. For many people, this dialogue is often negative, filled with self-doubt and criticism, but we can change that. Start by becoming aware of your inner voice. Notice when you're being hard on yourself or thinking negatively. When you catch a negative thought, stop and challenge it. Is it really true? What evidence do you have to support it? Often you'll find that these negative thoughts are based on unfounded fears or insecurities, not facts. Once you've challenged the negative thought, replace it with a positive one. Instead of, I can't do this, try, this is challenging, but I'm capable of figuring it out. Instead of, I always mess things up, try I'm learning and improving every day. This might feel awkward or forced at first and that's okay. Like any new skill, positive self-talk takes practice. The key is to be patient and persistent. Even if you don't believe the positive statements at first, keep repeating them. Over time they'll start to feel more natural and you'll begin to internalize them. Your mind believes what you tell it. By consistently feeding it positive messages, you're training it to focus on the good, to see opportunities instead of obstacles, and to believe in your own capabilities. As you go through your day, try to catch at least five negative thoughts and replace them with positive ones. You might want to keep a small notebook with you to jot down these thoughts and their positive replacements. This will help you become more aware of your thought patterns and track your progress. Day two of our challenge focuses on visualization exercises Visualization is a powerful technique used by top athletes, successful business people, and high achievers in every field. It involves creating vivid, detailed mental images of what you want to achieve. When you visualize, you're essentially giving your brain a blueprint of what you want to create in your life. Your brain doesn't distinguish between what you vividly imagine and what you actually experience in reality. By consistently visualizing your goals, you're programming your brain to recognize and act on opportunities that will help you achieve those goals. 
To practice visualization, find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to relax. Then, start to imagine your goal as if it's already achieved. Make the image as vivid and detailed as possible. Use all your senses. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you feel? For example, if your goal is to start a successful business, imagine yourself in your office. See the desk, the computer, the view from the window. Hear the phone ringing with new client calls. Feel the excitement and satisfaction of running your own successful company. The key is to make it feel real. Don't just see it like a movie. Put yourself in the scene. Feel the emotions you would feel if this were really happening. The more real you can make it feel, the more powerful the effect will be. Spend about 10 minutes on this visualization exercise. Try to do it twice a day, once in the morning to set your intention for the day, and once in the evening to reinforce it. Remember, visualization isn't about escaping reality or daydreaming. It's a tool to help you clarify your goals, boost your motivation, and prime your brain to recognize and act on opportunities that will help you achieve those goals. On day three, we're going to focus on gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful practice that can dramatically shift your perspective and boost your overall well-being. When we focus on what we're thankful for, we train our brains to notice the positive aspects of our lives. This doesn't mean ignoring problems or challenges, but rather, cultivating a balanced perspective that acknowledges both the good and the bad. Research has shown that practicing gratitude can lead to increased happiness, better sleep, improved relationships, and even stronger immune function. It's a simple practice with profound effects. To start your gratitude practice, set aside a few minutes each day to think about what you're thankful for. You might want to do this first thing in the morning to set a positive tone for your day or in the evening as a way to reflect on the good things that happened. Start by thinking of three things you're grateful for. They don't have to be big things. In fact, focusing on small, everyday blessings can be incredibly powerful. Maybe you're thankful for your morning coffee, a kind word from a friend or the comfortable bed you sleep in. As you think of each thing, really focus on why you're grateful for it. How does it improve your life? How would things be different without it? Allow yourself to feel the warmth of appreciation. You might want to write these things down in a gratitude journal. The act of writing can help reinforce the positive feelings and create a record you can look back on when you need a boost. As you go through your day, try to notice things you're grateful for in the moment. When something good happens, no matter how small, take a second to acknowledge it and feel thankful. This helps train your brain to notice and appreciate the positive aspects of your life. Remember, gratitude isn't about ignoring problems or pretending everything is perfect. It's about recognizing that even in difficult times, there are things to be thankful for. This balanced perspective can help you stay resilient in the face of challenges and find joy in everyday moments. Day four of our challenge introduces mindfulness meditation Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present in the moment, aware of your thoughts and feelings without judgment. It's a powerful tool for reducing stress, improving focus and gaining clarity. Mindfulness meditation doesn't require any special equipment or skills. All you need is a quiet place and a few minutes of your time. Here's a simple mindfulness exercise to get you started. Find a comfortable place to sit. You can sit on a chair or on the floor, whatever feels most comfortable. The important thing is to keep your back straight, but not tense. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. As you breathe, notice the sensation of the air moving in and out of your body. Feel your chest and belly rise and fall with each breath. Now bring your attention to your thoughts. Don't try to stop thinking or push thoughts away. Instead, imagine your thoughts as clouds passing through the sky of your mind. Notice each thought as it comes but don't engage with it. Just let it pass by. If you find your mind wandering, and it will, that's normal, gently bring your attention back to your breath. The practice isn't about having a perfectly clear mind, but about noticing when your mind wanders and bringing it back to the present moment. Start with just five minutes of this practice. As you get more comfortable with it, you can gradually increase the time. Throughout your day, try to bring moments of mindfulness into your activities. 
When you're eating, really focus on the taste and texture of your food. When you're walking, pay attention to the sensation of your feet hitting the ground. These small moments of mindfulness can help you stay grounded and present throughout your day. Day 5 focuses on goal setting with intention. Setting clear, purposeful goals is a crucial step in creating the life you want. When we set goals, we give our minds a clear direction to work towards. Effective goal setting involves more than just deciding what you want. It's about creating a clear, specific vision of what you want to achieve and why it's important to you. Start by thinking about what you truly want in different areas of your life, career, relationships, health, personal growth, etc. Don't limit yourself based on what you think is possible. Allow yourself to dream big. Once you have a general idea of what you want, it's time to get specific. Vague goals like be happier or make more money aren't very helpful because they don't give your mind a clear target to aim for. Instead, try to make your goals as specific and measurable as possible. For example, instead of be healthier, you might set a goal to exercise for 30 minutes five days a week or eat five servings of vegetables every day. Instead of advance in my career, you might aim to complete a professional certification course by the end of the year or take on two new projects at work that stretch my skills. As you set each goal, ask yourself why it's important to you. Understanding your motivations can help you stay committed when things get challenging. It also helps ensure that you're setting goals that truly align with your values and desires, not just what you think you should want. Write down your goals and the reasons behind them. Put this somewhere you'll see it regularly to keep your goals at the forefront of your mind. Goal setting isn't a one-time event. Regularly review and adjust your goals as your circumstances and priorities change. The key is to use your goals as a tool to guide your actions and decisions, always moving in the direction of the life you want to create. On day six, we're going to explore the power of affirmations and mantras. These are short, powerful statements that, when repeated regularly, can help reshape your thought patterns and beliefs. Affirmations work by reprogramming your subconscious mind. When you repeat a positive statement, often enough, your mind begins to accept it as truth. This can help overcome negative self-talk and limiting beliefs that might be holding you back. To create effective affirmations, start by identifying areas where you want to see change or growth in your life. Then, create positive statements that reflect the change you want to see, stated as if it's already true. For example, if you want to boost your confidence, you might use affirmations like, I am confident and capable, or I trust in my abilities and face challenges with courage. If you're working on improving your health, you might use, I make choices that nourish my body and mind, or I am strong, healthy, and full of energy. The key is to choose affirmations that resonate with you personally. They should feel positive and empowering, but also believable. If an affirmation feels too far from your current reality, your mind might reject it. In that case, try softening the statement. For example, I am a millionaire might become, I am open to abundant opportunities for wealth and success. Once you've chosen your affirmations, the next step is to use them regularly. Repeat your chosen affirmations to yourself several times a day. You might want to say them out loud in front of a mirror, write them down in a journal, or even record yourself saying them and listen to the recording. As you say your affirmations, try to feel the emotions associated with them. Imagine how you would feel if the statement were already true. This emotional connection helps make the affirmations more powerful. Remember, the goal isn't to magically change your life overnight. Affirmations are a tool to gradually shift your thoughts and beliefs in a more positive direction. With consistent practice, you may start to notice changes in how you think and feel about yourself and your capabilities. On the final day of our challenge, we're going to focus on putting all these practices together into a cohesive routine. Each of the techniques we've explored this week, positive self-talk, visualization, gratitude, mindfulness, goal setting, and affirmations, is powerful on its own. But when combined, they create a synergistic effect that can dramatically accelerate your personal growth and transformation. 
Start by reflecting on which practices resonated most with you this week. Which ones did you find most enjoyable or beneficial? These are the ones you'll want to prioritize in your ongoing routine. Now let's create a daily plan that incorporates these practices. Here's an example of how you might structure your day. Morning. Start your day with a few minutes of mindfulness meditation to center yourself. Follow this with some positive affirmations to set a good tone for the day. As you get ready for your day, practice positive self-talk, catching and reframing any negative thoughts. During the day, take short breaks for mindfulness, bringing your attention to your breath or your surroundings. Practice gratitude by noticing and appreciating the good things that happen throughout your day. Evening. Spend a few minutes visualizing your goals. Review your written goals and remind yourself why they're important to you. End your day with a gratitude practice, reflecting on three things you're thankful for from the day. Remember, this is just an example. The most effective routine is one that works for you and your schedule. The key is to make these practices a consistent part of your daily life. As you continue with these practices, you may start to notice some changes. Many people report feeling more positive and optimistic. You might find yourself better able to handle stress and challenges. Your relationships may improve as you become more mindful and appreciative. You may feel more focused and motivated in pursuing your goals. It's important to note that these changes often happen gradually. You might not wake up on day eight feeling like a completely different person. Personal growth is a journey, not a destination. The key is to be patient with yourself and trust in the process. Also remember that progress isn't always linear. You'll have good days and bad days. There will be times when these practices feel easy and natural and times when they feel challenging. This is all normal and part of the process. The important thing is to keep going even when it's difficult. As you move forward, continue to explore and learn. There are many other mind power techniques out there that you might find helpful. Consider reading books on personal development, attending workshops or working with a coach or therapist to further your growth. The power to change your life lies within you. Your mind is an incredibly powerful tool, capable of shaping your reality in amazing ways. By consistently practicing these techniques, you're learning to use that tool more effectively, creating the life you truly want. So are you ready to see what you can achieve in just seven days? Are you ready to tap into the incredible power of your mind? The challenge starts now. Commit to practicing these techniques every day for the next week. Pay attention to how you feel, how you think, and how you interact with the world around you. And don't keep this journey to yourself. Share your experiences with others. Talk about what you're learning and doing. Not only can this help reinforce your own practice, but you might inspire others to start their own mind power journey. Remember, every great achievement starts with a single step. By committing to this seven-day challenge, you're taking that first step towards a more empowered, fulfilling life. You have the power within you to create amazing changes. It's time to tap into that power and see what you're truly capable of. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more content on personal growth and empowerment. Share your experiences in the comments below. I'd love to hear about your journey. Until next time, keep harnessing the incredible power of your mind.